down the middle of the ice, and we just saw that from Jack Eichel, the best guy out in the ice today, I think. And a score off the draw! seconds into the game. Face-offs, right? Face-offs have to be something that you uh, find yourself on the winning side of. And this was, I don't know if we got uh, we got our goaltender just not ready or we, we were just beat off the line here. But uh, certainly UNH has to find a way to make sure that that doesn't happen again. Here's as a defenseman. Backhand fit. Save Mitchell Rooney. Rebound out into the slot. Hope it. Looking for the second of the night. He goes wide. Ups it in on net. Largion gets it back to the point. Big shot from Hickey. Save. Rebound. Score. Home it again. And it's 2-0 Terriers. I'll tell you what, this BU team is just... They are, they are swarming the net. They're not only good off transition, but you look here and you can see that they're relentless in front of the net. There's no denial, and they get pucks low to high and get uh, get sticks free to, to bury that rebound. Sorry, his last shift. Yeah, it's funny. He's got such a big, effortless stride. There are times where people say he comes off looking lazy, but you talk to his coaches, his UNH gets a shot, a rebound, score! Corey playing in his 98th career game UNH on the board and cuts the lead to one. That's exactly the type of goal UNH needed here, and it was something that uh, we had talked about early when the momentum was shifted towards BU. Is the simple things, right? They got it to the net. Dan Corrielli, the junior out of Prince George, British Columbia, gets to the net for the rebound bid and gets it up past O'Connor. And these are the types of goals that build momentum. They're energy, hard-working, puck retrieval off the forecheck, low to high, put it down at the neck. Now it's played out to neutralize by Gaudreau. Taken just inside the blue line by Quast. Taken away. Eichel scores! A giveaway, a pass from O'Regan, and the 16th goal of the season for Jack Eichel. Tell you what, that was um, that was one of the things we talked about um, with the coaching staff against uh, before the game started with UNH. As far as you cannot be your worst enemy here against an offensive team and turn pucks over and give them those opportunities, which is what happens here when the UNH defenseman here turns the puck over and leaves an empty net there for Eichel. And I tell you what, he's not missing that one. But he hit the post. For Taroni. And now the other way, score! Fogel finds the back of the net. And in a game of inches, the Wildcats survive to get a goal and make it a one goal game once again. I'll tell you what, Coach Emily's got to be happy with the end result of that shift, but certainly can't be pleased with the whole shift in the sense that BU here just peppered Taroni in the net. Opportunities at the net, missed coverage. Plays that uh, were inches from being in the, in the net, and then to turn around and have the transitional play, another turnover, and um, I don't know if Matt O'Connor is too happy with that one. The point, Pesci is there. No lane to shoot with, so he plays it around to the corner, where Thrush leaves it. Now Pesci gets it back. Wrist shot in front of O'Connor to save the rebound. Score! Willows with a power. That's what they needed. They needed that uh, third goal here to tie it up, and I think they brought it on the power play there. You looked at the puck movement. They had movement, which was the key to this power play. They were not stagnant. You end up having a lot more opportunity when you have your power play in constant motion opposed to just standing still. And This is a great goal because it created the rebound, and they had guys at the net. Guys at the net on your power play is key to get those shots. Certainly, you put all your top guys for BU on the ice. And they certainly can make some magic here as they... Uh... And they score! Big shot from Grizzly. Taroni made the save. And it kind of fluttered up in the air. Not sure if somebody touched it after that. But it'll be a power play goal that took all of 12 seconds for that power play to get cranked up. You don't want...
want to go a man down against this BU team. No, it's certainly something that they've uh, prided themselves on in the sense that they've got so much offensive power that it only took them 12 seconds to prove it here on the power play where they move it, get it back to Grizzlick. And uh, not the prettiest power play goal for BU here, but certainly shows their effectiveness when they can win a faceoff, get puck possession, move the puck, get Grizzlick to put one down at the net. And a uh, hey, good players. Flush got a piece of it now on off speed. Lane trying to tuck it in for the third time tonight. A BU Buck seems to be headed for the empty net, but it doesn't get there. But that one does the shot from Hickey a redirection. And it's a two goal lead for BU. Yeah, just getting pucks to the net. Great things happen when you get pucks to the net. And um, I think this is going to be a five on five goal. It will not be a power play goal, which is. Uh, you know, not going to help their percentage, but certainly they built the momentum off these types of plays down at the net, where they're able to get uh, some low to high looks here, move across the blue line, which gets the shot angle uh, change and puts it down to the net. This game trailing by two here as Eichel tries to step up, flips it in deep, puck comes loose, sits there at the edge of the crease, light goes on, no motion from the referee. So we've got the horn sounding, we've got the lights on, we've got the dog pound going wild. We've got everything but a referee pointing down saying it's a goal. Yeah, this is a uh, this is an interesting one. It'd be interesting to see the overhead view of this. Oh, no, that's a goal. That looked like a good one. Absolutely looks like a good goal there. Buck was loose for the moment. And it looks like Oxenden scoots in there and buries that one. Take another look here as it sits there. It's under the player. And yeah, it looks like Oxenden gets that stick in there. Saw a few of the UNH defenders signaling to the hand. I don't know if one of the BU players got their hand on this puck at any point some sort of hand pass that could have happened, but they'll see it on the overhead, that's for sure. Yeah, I think it's a good goal because it looked like uh, it was right under the hand, but it never touched the hand as Oxenden came in, buried the empty net goal, and he will get credit for the goal.